At Titus, we use tools to our advantage to make sure the job is done correctly and that it is done to the Titus standards. In this video, we will discuss the gloss meter and how to use it on a job. The gloss meter is required to be with you on every job site. This meter indicates the reflectiveness and shine. The meter, once calibrated, will read out a number. This will indicate how shiny the floor is and if it is up to the tightest standard. To begin, check the batteries and clean the inside of the cap for accurate calibration. To calibrate, place the meter on the ground or flat surface with the cap on. Use the 60 degree setting and press and hold the cal button till the display reads cal. Once calibrated, the gloss reader will read 90 and it is ready to use. Operational tip. During the winter or when it is cold, you must let the gloss meter warm up inside before trying to calibrate. To use, remove the cap and keep the meter reader placed on the floor till it reads out a number. After this number is displayed, you can move the meter to another part of the floor to get multiple readings. Several meter readings need to be taken and recorded. Take readings from a mixture of cream and exposed aggregate if available to get a good average. A picture of the average gloss meter reading should be sent to the office along with all job photos. This is required as part of our quality assurance. For Titus HP2 polishing jobs, a gloss meter reading of 50 or higher is required. A reading of 60 to 70 is considered excellent. For Titus hybrid polish jobs, meter readings should be above 40. In addition to gloss meter reading photo requirements, before and after photos are required as well. These pictures should be sent to the office before, during, and at completion of each job. There are seven you are required to take on every job. Two pictures before the job has started, one looking at the front and one looking at the back. Two pictures during the job at the 200 grit and after densifier has dried, one looking at the front and one looking at the back. Two pictures after completion, one looking at the front, one looking at the back. One picture of an average gloss meter reading. All photos should be taken from the same angle or perspective. All floors with problems or concerns should be photographed and sent to the office immediately. In addition, any problem areas or differing site conditions should be sent to the office immediately. Finally, when completing the job report, it is required to check that you have calibrated the gloss meter, you have recorded at least four gloss meter readings, and that you have checked off that the required pictures have been sent to the office. In the event of incomplete job reports, gloss meter readings, or pictures that do not meet the standard, these will be considered nonconformities. Remember to always be clean and courteous when on the job. If any questions or doubts arise during a job, always call and ask someone. We want to do the job right the first time. We hope this helps you in your training. We strive to provide the highest quality our customers want and deserve. Thank you for watching.